Hey guys, so we've got another image sent in for us to edit and we're going to be working with this shot right here trying to recreate the exact same edit with the exact same photo. So obviously going for that really dark, moody look, not many highlights at all, plenty of shadows and then a pretty decent fade to those blacks. So if you guys really like the style, you can go give him a follow down in the description and if you really like his style, you can also go check out his presets over here. So if you want, come over here and check them out. And yeah, let's get into Lightroom. See if we can create something dark and moody, but still really warm like this. Okay, so here's his shot from his Instagram, all edited and the raw unedited file. So first things first, drop that exposure or up the contrast. Now we'll drop the highlights. We're going to be doing a few filters as well, so uh, don't pay super close attention to these because we'll come in and I know there's certain areas that need filters. I'll explain them later, but right now we're just trying to so kind of match up the exposure of the image. So just trying to match up how much detail you can see in areas like this. So you can just see her neck in there. You can just see a bit more here in our one than in hers. So you're just trying to match up the amount of detail. And yeah, let's drop the blacks way down. I'm going to go a bit further than I need to because I'm going to add in a fade and that will very slightly brighten our image. But you can see I brought the blacks down because I can't see the detail in these areas. So, and I can here at the moment, so I'm dropping it right down. And I'm going to be adding in a fade, and that will very slightly um, bring out a tiny bit of detail. We'll mainly add a fade. So, at the moment, our blacks look very black and harsh, and we're just going to soften it up by doing a bit of a lift in the curves. So, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so that's the curves done there, and I just really softened up those blacks. So if I get rid of it, you can see what that fade is doing. And I didn't touch the highlights up here because we have really nice soft highlights in this one. And lifting up the highlights here is the fastest way to get harsh, harsher light. So we want to keep it nice and soft, really flat. So on a flat looking image, keep, keep this as flat as you can right so another way to get the soft really soft look the soft light is to drop the clarity it's gonna slightly soften your whole image but in a good way it's gonna as you can see very especially on the skin nicely softens the highlights there and Let's drop the vibrance. So let's drop that a lot. And I'm actually going to individually bring up the colors down here. So I'll just quickly do some of these. Uh, so we want the oranges up. Um, we'll bring it up a bit, but we'll bring out um, the center of the image and that with some filters now. Well, first I will just add a bit more of a vignette. Okay. Um, up in this corner, we're very bright, so I'm just going to put in a filter. And I have already gone about and placed all the filters and brushes, so it's a bit quicker. So for this one, I'm just going to drop the exposure. Then I'm going to drop the highlights. 
keep it nice and soft looking and the whites okay roll with that and as you can see we just need a bit more brightness to the center of the image so big radial filter right in the middle so this is what i've already placed and it's affecting the inside of the circle so if i turn on the masking and see where it's affecting the inside and this is sometimes easier than trying to do a vignette around the edges it's just to brighten the middle instead so what i'll do with this Shadows, maybe a bit more. And then whites. Trying to keep that light nice and soft. Um, and then make sure it's feathered right out so you get a nice gradual fall off. And that one is done right let's move on to maybe the filter right on the face need to um, so again I'll try to soften that light with dropping the clarity so just on the face actually for this one I'm gonna drop the whites and then that's going to kind of have the same effect. It's really taking out those harsh bits. Um, if we do some coloring now. So let's go to HSL. So skin tones. So her, her lips, especially over here, look a lot more purple. Bring the reds towards purple. oranges um, hard to tell we need to we need to work with the yellows as well I think they are looking pretty orange and then they look quite a bit desaturated um, and we have worked with one of his images before um, go check it out after this one if you haven't but we shifted the greens all the way to the warm side I think we did this made the blues quite purple even though this image doesn't have any if you guys are trying to achieve that look we'll slide those ones and we definitely dropped quite a few of these so then it's only the want a few tones just so it doesn't look too odd but by doing this only the darks will have a real gray look and then the skin tones will really pop giving that real nice golden dark look um, and then maybe the luminance of the reds down a touch okay um what about Shapton? Um, so D Hayes, I just want to darken it a bit. Like you want to get rid of the atmosphere kind of it's hard to describe so we'll just darken it with the dehaze but as you can see that's made our image quite saturated so let's bring down vibrance Um, right. 
it's kind of added in quite a bit more contrast as well but I think we're looking good um, let's go back to brushes might try to touch up the skin tones so what we want to do let's add in a few more highlights shadows And again, just dropping in the clarity, get that soft light, also smoothing out the skin. Drop that about there. What I've, I've already gone ahead and done some retouching, so I won't go through it all, but if you don't know how to do it, just grab these, bracket key, make it bigger or smaller, and any blemishes, you sort of just, you just click and replace that spot with another spot really easy so I've done a bit of that but I just noticed on the wall here some blemishes I'll just replace those and yeah we probably want to sharpen the eyes and even brighten them a bit so we'll punch in again I think the whites of the eyes are almost bright enough, so I'll try not to brush them. I'll just try to get the eyelashes. And maybe the pupils. Clarity, sharpness, touch of exposure. Okay, let's see how that looks zooming out. Looks a little better. And yeah, if we just go back to this. I think that looks good. That's what we want. And then, so a real key to this was getting that real soft light. And yeah, achieve that by dropping the clarity and then adding it back into the skin, maybe. And then those whites, if you wanted it to be a bit more soft. So yeah, um, about done with that and another important part of this was bringing up the black point bring that up keeping those highlights low you very quickly get harsh light if you're bringing up your highlights there so flat image is a lot like that and then desaturating almost all the other colors you get this real gray gray look to the rest of the image there's not many other colors in this but usually there probably would be and you would get this nice gray look and then you've got a bit of warmth in the image and you've got your skin tones brought up so they really pop and you're left with this nice dark and golden look. So yeah, I'll leave it there guys. I'll be putting his links down in the description. Definitely go check out his work. He's got some really nice work there. And check out his presets. Check out my presets if you like these tutorials as well. And yeah, comment who you guys want to see. So I can reach out to them on Instagram, ask them to send in a photo and do a tutorial on them. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, really appreciate it. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.